It's a beautiful sight watching on as 11 Messi's and 11 Ronaldo's enter the field of play, identical in every single way. All with the exact same skill set, the same tattoos, the same features. It's a strange sight to behold, but it's also a brilliant one. Sadly though, that's only possible in Pez, and in FIFA, we have to do things a little bit differently. Rather than quickly being able to create an exact replica of a player, I've had to go through editing all the stats, creating each player individually. So whilst in an ideal world every Ronaldo on the team would look like this, all of the created Ronaldos today will in fact look like this. Rather than spending hours trying to make it look like Ronaldo and failing, I've just gone with the generic face and given him a nice blue haircut that I personally think looks pretty awesome with that kit. And the created versions of the Argentinian magician won't quite look like this, instead they'll look like this, blending the long haired Messi of old with the short haired version of today. Business in the front, party in the back. Every single created Messi will be rocking a mullet. So they might not look the real deal, but they do all have the exact same stats as their real life counterparts, the same height, weight, nationality and date of birth, and they'll all even be wearing the exact same boots. They're as much like the real life version as possible, just without quite being aesthetically accurate. For today's video, the Messi's will be going head to head with the Ronaldo's, computer versus computer, home and away, and it's time to see which team comes out on top. Will it be the Messi's, or will it be the Ronaldo's? Before I get into the gameplay though, I just want to say a massive thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring today's video. With the World Cup taking place in Russia right now, the OneFootball app is the perfect companion for your World Cup experience, allowing you to keep up to date with all of the latest stats, news and goings on. You can check in on the frustrations of Messi with Argentina, admire the brilliant record of Ronaldo and easily keep an eye on everything as the tournament progresses. You have to feel for Messi really, he's probably the best player in world football right now, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen for him this summer. Argentina were runners up in Brazil four years ago, but this time round they might not even get out of the group. Anyway though, the One Football app really is absolutely brilliant, I've been using it for about a year now and it's definitely something that I'd recommend looking into. It's extremely useful all throughout the season for following your favourite clubs, competitions and players, it's completely free to download and if you haven't already got it installed on your phone, definitely check out the link in the description down below. Massive thanks to them once again for sponsoring today's video, let's get into the gameplay though and let's find out which team comes out on top. And of course, if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like this one from me in the future, smash that subscribe button for more, and if you do go on to enjoy this video today, leave it a like too. Let's aim for a thousand likes on this one, and if we can crush that target, I'll be sure to get a very similar battle sorted for you in the not too distant future. Right though, let the games begin, may the best team win. Here come the Messies now then with the first attack of the game, what can they make of this one? They're moving it down the wing, play that inside. And they seem to be overplaying this one, far too many passes in the box and it's not worked out for them. The early possession has all been falling to the messes and here they come once again with Lionel. What can he do with this one? Tries to thread a ball through but it wasn't the best of passes. They booted that one forward, Ronaldo's got it under his control, moves that through and what can he do here? Plays that across on the attack, what a challenge by Messi. Unconventional, but it worked. And here come the Ronaldo's on the attack once again, that's a lovely ball out wide. Messi nearly got there but not quite. He plays that one across, gets it back, oh, that's very well worked, and Messi hasn't even gone for that one. It's 1-0 to the Ronaldos. I know that he's only 5 foot 7 and 19 rated, but I at least expected him to try and move for it. And the Messi's are getting absolutely dominated at the moment, they're not in this game at all. Ronaldo's on the attack once again, moves that inside to Cristiano, and I wasn't expecting that. He's found the back of the net once again, Messi looked like he was celebrating. Probably annoyed rather than celebrating, but that's what it looked like anyway. 2-0 to the Ronaldos, Cristiano Ronaldo with both goals. Again, I think that maybe Messi could have done a bit better, but like I said before, he's only 19 rated and 5 foot 7 tall, so can't really expect too much from him to be honest. And the Ronaldos could even make it 3-0 here. They're working the ball down that right wing, playing it around very nicely, looking comfortable on the ball, and then Messi gets to it, just as I'm saying that they're looking comfortable. The Messi's might have a counter-attack opportunity here. 
They've moved it forward and he's just offside. It's 2-0 to the Ronaldos. Everything's still to play for in the second half though, so let's get into it and let's see what happens. The Ronaldos have got a free kick here. Can they make the most of it? Ronaldo's working the ball forward, takes it past a couple of messes, but that shot is just not good enough. And here come the Ronaldos on the ball once again, but they passed it straight to the messes there. And this is a really good opportunity for them. They've worked the ball inside to Lionel Messi and it's 2-1. Lovely little finish there. Two goals on the day for Cristiano, one for Lionel, and the Messis are back in the game. Some lovely football there, plays it inside to Lionel, and he just has to apply the finishing touches, does so brilliantly, and like I say, back in the game, it's 2-1. Corner kick for the Ronaldos here, and the Messis could be in trouble. Such a massive height advantage, and they've nearly scored there. They've hit the bar, and they have scored now. The Messis are just a bit too short, to be honest. Look at that Ronaldo celebrating. He's absolutely delighted. The Messis are disgusted. Two goals for Cristiano, and now Cucumber's got himself on the score sheet. The Messis are looking to bite back with an instant reply though. They've been passing it around so nicely all game, and that's continued once again here, and they scored again. It's 3-2. Nice little goal there for Leotard Messi. Here comes Cristiano on the attack once again though. Goes for goal, and once again, Messi's just not moved for that one. It's 4-2. Once again, Messi's goalkeeping has to be questioned there. It's almost like he doesn't know how to play in goal. Here comes Lionel Messi once again, moves the ball out wide, gets it back, plays it through the middle, and this is some brilliant play once again. What can they do with this one? They played it into the box. They're overplaying this one. This isn't going to amount to anything. Oh, okay, it is. It's 4-3. It was a nice and tidy little finish there from Lego Messi. Lionel Messi's done his job. He scored a goal, and now he's being replaced with Long Nose Messi. And Cristiano Ronaldo's no longer going to feature in this game either. He's being replaced by K9 Ronaldo. And here come the Ronaldos once again. Can they make this 5-3 right at the end of the game? That's a fantastic challenge. The Messi's have launched that one long, and they might even get an equaliser here. That's a decent ball through. Can they make the most of the situation here? Plays that one across, and that's a good challenge by Ronaldo. They've got it away, and that's the final whistle. There were some pretty solid performances from the Messi's there, but they've not quite done enough and Cristiano Ronaldo has been picked as the man of the match. Seven shots on target, seven goals. And given that Messi's a 19-rated keeper and Ronaldo's a 20-rated keeper, it's really no surprise that they weren't able to save anything. There's everything still to play for in this second leg, though. There's only one goal in it at the moment, so the Messi's can definitely turn this around in the second leg. They're far higher rated in attack, not so great at the back, though, and of course they're all five foot seven, so... Yeah, but I believe in these messes. I reckon they can turn it around. Let's get into the second leg and let's see if they can do so. It's so weird watching all of the players join together for this pre-match team talk. I wonder what they're all saying to each other. Here come the Ronaldos now then, looking to take a two-goal lead. Can they make the most of the situation here? Cristiano Ronaldo does a little ball roll and he's hit the bar. Very unlucky there. And Messi's got that one covered. It was offside anyway though, so... Yeah, it doesn't really count for much. Corner kick for the Ronaldos now then. And they've played that one on the ground. What are they doing? They've got such a height advantage. And they've played it on the ground. They deserve to concede here. The Messi's are on the attack. What was that though? That is one of the worst touches I've ever seen. Here come the Ronaldos once again, using their strength well there. Passing the ball around nicely in midfield. Are they going to get another goal here? They got lucky there and they have scored it. Cristiano Ronaldo's on the score sheet again. And I reckon that that could be game over. The Messi's have got the ball in a good area now. They're passing the ball around very comfortably. And I reckon they're going to score again in a second. Can they do it here? No, that's a good block. Once again, the Messi's are playing some fantastic passing football here. But is it going to amount to anything? That's the big question. They're looking very promising in attack. And that's just gone wide. So it's 1-0 at the break. And on aggregate, the Ronaldos have now got a 5-3 advantage. Don't write the messes off just yet, though. Anything could happen in the second half. They're so good in attack. Can they score some goals? We're 20 minutes into the second half now. And to be honest, there's not been a single clear-cut opportunity just yet. It's been a pretty drab second half. As I say that, though, the messes are taking the ball forwards. And he's hit that into the top corner. I thought that was heading wide, but no, that was a lovely shot. And the Messi's seem to be growing in confidence since they scored that goal. Can they get another one? That's a bit of an awkward touch from Messi, but he recovers, gets the ball back, and they're just passing it around far too much. Someone just take a shot. 
They've got a 20 rated goalkeeper in goal. Why don't you just test him? They're just passing the ball around and eventually they've screwed it up. Take a shot, Messi, as you know you want to. This is a fantastic opportunity and he's hit it wide. Cristiano's coming off. Camel toes coming on. And we're also going to see the introduction of Long Nose Messi. And here come the Messi's with what could be their final attack of the game. Can they make the most of it? Nope, they passed it straight to the Ronaldo's. And that's probably game over now. They've kicked that one long. And they're probably just going to look to hold on to this one and see the game out. They've passed that one across. He's turned his man. Is the ref going to blow his whistle? Yes, he does. It's a 5-4 victory for the Ronaldo's. It was a pretty solid display from the Messi's in that second leg. But in the end, they just weren't quite strong enough to beat the Ronaldo's. The Ronaldo's have picked up a 5-4 victory on aggregate. And when I did a similar video in Pez, I'm pretty sure there were 9 goals in that one too. There should be a link to that video coming up in the top right hand corner if you want to check it out. Anyway though, thanks for watching, have an awesome day, and I'll catch you again next time.